Hello, this is Clyde J. Kale, and you're listening to Clyde's Art Story. This is episode 10, and I have another guest artist, a good friend, Diane Hunt. Diane, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, everybody. And let's get started right away, Diane. Diane, how long have you been an artist, either professional or uh, just in general? Um, I think I was born one. I started out drawing and stuff as soon as I could hold something in my hand, I think. My mom used to get so tired of trying to supply me with crayons and paper. She used to send me outside with a bucket of water and a paintbrush and tell me to go paint the sidewalk. <laughs> so I would spend hours out there painting with water on the sidewalk. And it would, you know, I'd get to the end of the sidewalk and the first ones would evaporate and I could start all over again. It was great. But I've been um, doing art for a long time. And, um, you yeah, know, I went to college for art. And so I guess professionally I've been doing it off and on since I graduated from college, which was back in 79, so it's been a while. Yes. Okay. What kind of art do you create? Um, I paint mostly in watercolor and oil paint um, in an impressionistic, realistic style. Um, right now I've been currently doing landscapes and flowers mostly, ranging in size from about 8 or 10 inches up to about 30 inches. Um, I paint in my studio as well as going out on location and playing in, pan air, in plain air. Do you enjoy plain air mostly or studio? Which, which do you prefer? Um, I would have to say in plain air. I love the immediacy of it and being able to see, you know, be out in the environment and see and feel, you know, the whole surroundings and be able to get all that on the canvas. Okay. It's a whole different experience. <laughs> What's your vision or desire for your art? I'm really connected to the environment and the whole, you know, mother nature in general. And I've spent an enormous amount of time growing up out in nature and watching, you know, the rhythm of waves and the ways trees move and clouds and, you know, shadows and the way light goes on things. And I just really like that whole um, part of it. And being out in nature is really calming and, um, I feel very connected to the earth when I'm out there. And I really like being able to bring that into my art so that other people can feel that too. By the way, your art is very beautiful. I, Thank you. <laughs> where do you see yourself in the future you know, with, with your art? Um, I'm constantly trying to improve my skills. I don't think that ever stops as an artist. You're always trying to be better than you were yesterday. And so I, I think that's my main goal, and nothing beats being out in nature painting. <laughs> I really would like to be able to travel around the world more and um, be able to paint on location in a lot of different areas and experience other people and other places and cultures and bring all that onto the canvas so other people can enjoy it too. Do you have, have a desire to be in the galleries, mostly uh like a major gallery, like up in New York or maybe Chicago or, or somewhere. Yeah, I'd love to be able to, you know, get into some really nice galleries and um, even museums at some point. I think there's, uh, I, I, there's so much of the environment that has been disappearing over my lifetime. And I think it'd be really important to be able to um, record that in a way so that people in future generations can enjoy it because it might not be there you know, 100 years from now. <laughs> I mean, look how much has changed in our lifetimes and, you know, artists back in the olden days, you know, the art that they created, those places, a lot of them aren't in existence anymore. That's, that's a very good point. Yeah. Do you have a website? Yes, I do. It's dianehuntstudio.com. It's D-I-A-N-E-H-U-N-T-S-T. <laughs> U-D-I-O dot com. Okay, and do you have an email address where somebody could contact you if they uh, were interested in the... Yeah, it's um, Diane at DianeHuntStudio dot com. Okay. And I'm also on Instagram, same name, Diane Hunt Studio. Are you on Facebook also, or...? Yes, <laughs> Facebook page too, the same name. <laughs> okay. I'm also on Twitter, but I don't use that all that much, but... Uh... Growing up, we were always taught to care for things and, and um, 
leave things better than we we found them. And so I found this quote that was kind of um, it had kind of hit home for me as far as the environment and the world we live in. And it says, um, in the end, we will conserve only what we love. We will <clears throat> we will love only what we understand. And we will understand only what we are taught. And it's by Baba Diem. But I think it's really um, a good point as far as how we um, are. We should be stewards of the environment that we live in because it is our only home and so that's kind of a, an important idea for me that's excellent that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's good, uh, it's a good idea to follow i'm sure you keep that in your mind when you're creating your art right yeah yeah i just really love the beauty of the world and i like to share it <laughs> keep it that way fantastic um another i guess another facet of what I'm, what I do, and what I, where I can see my art going is um, being supportive of environmental groups. Um, I don't currently, I'm not currently a member of any of that, but it is something that I'm hoping to do at some point. Kind of the same. I don't know, Camille Seaman, her, um, her whole look about how her photography affects things and stuff. That would really hit home with me, and um, I would really like to be able to do that, something like that. Yeah, she's she's really a go-getter, you know. Yeah, she's inspiring. Very inspiring. Thank you, Diane, for taking a few minutes to uh, talk with me. And your art is very beautiful. And I wish you all the best and uh, future success. Well, thank you very much for having me. This has really been fun. Say that website again so people can uh, check you out. It's Hunt studio.com all right thanks again bye bye thank you <laughs> bye and that was a wonderful visit with diane hunt an artist friend and please continue to listen to clyde's art story send me some feedback cjkl at sign mr dash otr.com that's cjkl at sign mystery dash otr.com let me know what you think about these podcasts. Until next time, this is Clyde J. Kale. Bye-bye.